As a comedian, going from town to town is your life. In and out of hotels sounds exciting, but with only working an hour a night, the other 23 can feel like a sentence. Even the hot tub gets boring. So what do you do? Anything. I'm Nathan McIntosh, and this is Stand Up Downtime. Let's get up to get down. I want the lights on. When we're gonna rock this down. Ugh. Hey, buddy. What's going on? I, I, I can't even. Oh, my I, God. Oh, hey, man. come on, get it together. Let's go. Let's go out. I got some. Yeah, um, right. I got some ideas. We're gonna go to a cool shop I heard of. Come on, let's go. It's gonna be fun. Oh, man. It's gonna be sweet. I got some ideas. We're gonna go check out the town. You're gonna love it. Promise. Okay. Ready? Go so stoked. Man, Burlington, let's do it. here we come. Burlington. Woo! This is Courtney Gilmore, super funny comedian, originally from Kitchener. She recently won the homegrown competition at Just for Laughs. I know a few of you can probably tell just by the sound of my voice uh, that I don't have hands. <laughs> That's true. It gives me away every time. I don't know if you can hear it. I was born like this. I've been this way my whole life. And uh, I get a lot of people asking me about it, right? I was in a cab in Toronto recently. As soon as I got into this guy's car, uh, he gasped and said, are you okay? <laughs> like it was fresh. <laughs> I was like, why do you think this just happened, but I'm on my way to Milestones for some reason? Just very <laughs> low-key. Come on, let's go. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Thank you. Huh. All right, so. Yes, it's cool. This is nice, eh? Yeah. What made you think it, why'd you want to come in here? Well, I like, uh, I like cupcakes. These are actually vegan cupcakes. So, you know, I'm always interested in uh, healthy versions of sweet treats. So you've got very elaborate icing flavors and stuff. Cool. So you got like I'm not really... strawberry cupcakes with real strawberries. Can I say I'm not like, um, I don't want to be crazy, but okay. I'm not like a big sweets Person. Big you got a skinny cookie over there. Okay. I like garnish on a cupcake. Okay. I like it. I like uh, anything that looks like a wedding top. Like a show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You I like a, like a like a, I a, want a, a presentation. Yes. The, you want the the, the Oscars the of <laughs> cupcakes. I'm happy we left the hotel. I was really just gonna sit on that couch all day. <laughs> you and... can't. You got to get out here. And this is a. Uh... Do you find it hard though? Sometimes you know you 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 travel a bunch. And then you end up in a hotel room and you're like, yeah. where, am I, where am I gonna go? I've been outside, yeah. I've been to towns. <laughs> it's the same type of thing. It's but the same type of thing, for I guess, sure. yeah, then you kind of find a place like this and you're like, oh, that's cool. I like to go to hotels and then like spend a little bit of time in the hotel room and then go out and like find one thing that captures my interest for at least half an hour. So that, <laughs> so that I feel that I've left the hotel and don't feel so isolated. So you always try to do that. Because sometimes yeah, I, I do stuck. always try to do it. I get stuck in the hotel. Really? You know, yeah. Like will you stay like how like will you stay in the hotel until the show, like a whole day until I the have. show? Yeah. Yeah and okay. I, and and by the time the show happens, I wanna throw myself off a balcony. <laughs> Cause you just sit, you yeah, cause sit. you're just isolated. Yeah you're talking to nobody and then you gotta go talk at people. <laughs> I have errands to do no matter where I go. Okay. In the world, I feel like I have errands to do. Yeah. Like I'll just like find things to photocopy for no. Like it just makes me feel productive <laughs> to go. It doesn't matter if you I'm in the, Ottawa or if I'm in Spain. I've got to make some faxes. You got to go, go, you, you gotta gotta go, go your, make some copies. You got to get your horse some new shoes. It makes me, yeah, yeah. I feel <laughs> so accomplished when I have just little things to do. So that's what I do on the road. Did you ever go? Oh, like make small town talk on. Yeah, the, you know, you get up on top. stage and you're like, I went to Jerry's uh, Pizzeria. Yeah. That guy sucks. Yeah, you know what's interesting about that is I would love to do that and I've tried doing that and sometimes it works, but for me, especially in small towns, I have to get to the hand stuff so quick. Okay. Otherwise people are scared or nervous. And so it's like, <laughs> I don't feel like I have the luxury of being like, hey, check out Jimmy's coffee, you know? Like what a weird guy that is. Like it's, yeah. people are like, no, we need it. We need an answer Address for why you hands. look like this. <laughs> we don't care about Jimmy. We know Jimmy, we don't know you. <laughs> Have you ever done a show where you you didn't 
Mansion um, hands? I've done shows where I've definitely done a little bit of banter off the top about something else. And that yeah. feels good to be able, because it feels more natural sometimes. Sure. Sometimes you want to address something that's happened just before you. Like something yeah, crazy yeah. just happened. You want to feel like you're able Person to. Person behind you didn't have legs, for God's sake. Yeah, you know what, I mean? <laughs> yeah, hey, what about uh, me? Check out this guy. <laughs> He doesn't have yeah. a head. This yeah. guy doesn't have a head. It's just a torso up here, talking from its neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, definitely. I, but I've never gone, I don't think I've gone a full set without mentioning it. I don't think I'm at that level yet where I can go a yeah. full set. I would like to have the option someday. You, you talk about hands. Yeah. Just to be like, hey, I know what you're thinking. Yes. Um, uh, well, and you wouldn't put it like that. I, I know what you're thinking. Uh, you I know. don't like doing that line. <laughs> no, I, I don't mean. like doing that line. Even yeah. as I said hey, that, guys, I'm like, I know what you're thinking, yeah. I know, but do you get a ton of questions? about not yeah. having hands? Are people like, yeah. what do you do? Where, yeah. where are your hands? Have you ever been where? asked, where are your hands? Absolutely, where are your like, hands? Like, where did Usually... you leave your hands? Did you know that you left your house today without <laughs> hands? Yeah, sometimes the tone of people's questions is like, they're informing me yes. of something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's and I'm mean. supposed to be surprised, <laughs> which I would wish that I reacted more that way. Like, it's uh, Yeah, if we genuinely... all could just leave our hands at home and you're like, oh my God, I forgot my hands. Like, yeah. Phone, wallet, <laughs> hands. And yeah. then you just walk back in. So people just ask questions as if like, you it's don't usually, know. I do have uh, children ask where they are because that's their mentality. It's sure. like, they're sh they Mon should be there and now they're not. Let's you say, know? kids, yeah. monsters. Well, kids, are, kids are very They just walk up to you and they're like, why are you ugly? You're like, you're <laughs> four. I'm going to throw you through a window. Yeah, totally. So they but but adults, people just kind of ask yeah. as if you know. What's the what's the weirdest question you've ever got? I mean, there are full grown adults who ask to touch my arms, like I'm a panda <laughs> at a zoo. Like they like they're just like in awe, and they come up like, "Can I like is like I don't know if they're expecting my skin is gonna be like a lizard or something different. <laughs> I don't know, but they're like, "Can I touch your arms?" Forty year old men. Men. Can I touch your arms? Yeah. Weird. Like, I was you... gonna guess it was women. No, it's men. It's men. always men. It's always men. Wow. Yeah, it's never women. Women are actually, I think it's mostly, it's predominantly men who ask anything <laughs> about it. Okay. Old ladies love to bless me on the street. Hilarious. Like, bless your heart. I get, I'm very blessed because of a lot of old ladies that I've uh -huh. run into who just bless your I've heart. I've literally been blessed for not having a dad. I'm serious. I've, oh, I was on really? stage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I, I said, I, I grew up without a dad. And some guy's like, I'll pray for you. I'm like, what do you mean? Oh, you yeah. Pray for me now? What's he going to come back? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I had a guy in Eglin. Station in Toronto tell me that God is going to give me hands at some uh, ambiguous later date that I wasn't <laughs> informed of. <laughs> like God like, sent you. When? God sent you out early, <laughs> and he's just like, oh, I'll give her hands. Let's yeah. see how she deals yeah. with this. A lot of people ask if I'm going to like regenerate them back, like if I'm going to grow hands back. Like, like this a, is where I stopped evolving. Like a chameleon, like a, <laughs> yeah. like a salamander. Yeah, do a salamander, you, yeah. Do you, um, you, you were born with, uh, without hands, I was right? born without them, and my right leg. Uh, I have a right leg until the Okay, knee. let's calm down. It's you know a lot. I mean? Let's, let's get to lot. one thing at a time here, Courtney. <laughs> sure. No leg. No leg. Two. Part of a leg. Yeah. <laughs> There's some of it's there, and I would like to be, I'm very precious about it. I need to, <laughs> I've got part of a leg. <laughs> well, have you met people who lost yeah, hands, who absolutely. maybe have a, a, a different mentality than you do? 100%. That yeah. is a very distinctive perspective difference. Yeah, is yeah. that people, and I totally understand it, because sure. many of them have been through tragedies. I feel privileged with that. Like, I feel like I'm just, like, getting away with just this positive attitude, because this has just been my life, my whole life. I haven't had any emotional tragedies or like yeah. physical accident that happened to me. Um, so yeah, they have a different perspective. You sure. know, they've been through something. Um, and uh, you know, they, they get phantom pains. I don't get phantom pains. Yeah. People ask me if I get them. I'm like, you know, it's the ghost of uh, the limb you used to have. <laughs> I remember meeting you and going, mm. oh wow, this woman's this woman's outlook is great. I think we think that we have to be negative yes. as comedians. And I think yeah. sometimes we just buy into that story mm -hmm. and I just don't like it. It's just, Me neither. Uh, I don't like feeling like the odd one out because I'm going to a show and I feel happy about it. Yeah. You know? That's not to, not to negate, like, you know, you never want to fake it or like not be real, but you know, you don't want to feel to... like you're not allowed to be yeah. happy. And that's yeah. the thing you got to work on. You yeah. can't just, you can't oh, just sit sure. in a hotel room and, and be like, when it, you know. <laughs> Maybe, maybe if, uh, maybe if the housekeeping comes, I'll be okay. Yeah, exactly. Or maybe, exactly. If, maybe if I really crush this show, I'll be happy. No, you gotta go do things. You gotta, yes. you gotta look at cupcakes. You gotta. You see gotta go walls. eat cupcakes. You, you gotta, gotta drink gotta... cappuccino. Exactly. How yeah. is this, by the way? It's very good. It's delicious. How's yours? You got a. Uh, this thing is beautiful. An americano. Anytime I go into a place and they're like, "Do you want almond or coconut milk?" First of all, I take a step back and I go. <laughs> 
Uh, this, that's great. And I'll always <laughs> say coconut over almond. Oh, do you? Always. Yeah, me too. Love an almond, though. Love yes. almond milk. I used to, I had a, a brief almond milk phase where okay. it was becoming trendy, so that was like the new alternative milk, but then they introduced <laughs> coconut milk and it's no turning back after when that. Almond milk used to go on stage. Yeah, <laughs> uh, remember it would like, it would play like a ukulele yeah. and it, would, it, would had, it had a yeah. real art alternative. Uh, almond milk was the Zoe Deschanel of yes. alternative milk brands. Yes. And we all loved it for a while. Yes. <laughs> and then coconut milk came along and it was like. Uh, hey, I'm Jennifer Lawrence now. So. <laughs> Have you tried this thing yet? I'm gonna try this okay, thing. Okay, let's get into it. I've got a real crazy cupcake going on here, so. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get it all over me. It needs unwrapping. Some out? Yeah, sure. This thing is so good. I appreciate you asking me to help though, by the way. Oh, a lot really? of times people will just dig right in there. Strangers, really? strangers will dig into my purse helping me find my bus pass. And I'm like, really? you're in my purse right now and I don't know you. <laughs> Yeah, do people know that I'm still a human being? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how do you think I functioned? How do you think I got here? Yeah, it's really People crazy. would love to know how you got there. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> I'm not man. anyway, but people would love to know, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. How you did. There could be an entire show called Courtney Getting There. Courtney, explain yourself. <laughs> <laughs> explain, how do you do this? Justify your existence. To give you an example of the kind of life I live, I was late for a party recently because I put moisturizer on my arms and spent the next 25 minutes trying to open the front door. Okay. <laughs> to be honest, I wish you guys didn't have hands. That's really, <laughs> that would make my life easier. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> the best response is all of you clapping, flaunting the hands in front of me. Just really, really giving her. <laughs> How much do you travel, by the way? Like, are you, are you? A lot more lately. Yeah. Definitely this past year, I've been on the road a lot more. And yeah. coming up the next few months, uh, I'm going to be on the road a lot. How do you is... deal with it? Because I, I sometimes really... get real, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it sucks sometimes getting like, on and off of planes. Yeah. You know? In yeah. A, I like driving. Anytime oh, I have do to drive. Yeah. Okay. I kind of do. Yeah, well, the thing is, like, I've only just started doing a lot more consistent road gigs, so yeah. I feel like I'm probably, like, a very naive baby in the beginner's part of the phase being, like, I love the road because I'm not 10 years in on the road. Um, but I like staying at different places. I like seeing different towns. Uh, I like taking trains and buses and planes and stuff, mm -hmm. so anything feels like a mini adventure to me. So yeah, that's, yeah. that's fun. This is, um, can I tell you, Courtney, this is... This, this has is, been lovely. This is exactly what I needed. I was going to literally sit on that couch yeah. where you found me and yeah. tell the show. You were just gonna slump. You then I was gonna slump. go on stage and just go, ugh, oh, it's up Burlington. Yeah. What a terrible. <laughs> um, so this is the thing, yeah, this is great. You wanna yeah. you wanna have that? Yeah, for sure. Let's cool. go. Let's do it. I hooked up with another amputee. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's an honor, my own kind. <laughs> uh, he was missing a hand. Who am I to judge, you know? Um <laughs> He had a, he also had a fake leg on the same side as me. I was like, that's adorable. Like, we match. Um, but I brought him back to my apartment, right? And uh, things were going well, you know? Things were getting hot and heavy. Clothes were coming off. Limbs were coming off. <laughs> <laughs> we're making out our fake legs are clanking against each other. I was like, what's happening right now? Are we becoming a transformer? 